Hey, welcome everyone. Thank you for taking time to learn Microsoft 365 Fundamentals exam series. In this module, we're going to go through the course introduction and what are the lessons we are going to learn throughout this series. My name is Sushant Sudesh and I am going to be your instructor for this examination series. I work as a cloud solutions architect for a leading distributor. I am certified at an expert level in Microsoft 365 and Azure as well. So let's look at the exam objectives for MS 900. The audience for this course is who is just beginning to learn about cloud computing. You could be a technical professional or you could be a sales professional wanting to understand how Microsoft 365 provides these services. There is no prerequisite for this course, but students with an IT background will find these concepts easier to understand. This course maps directly to exam MS 900, which is Microsoft 365 fundamentals. These percentage indicate the relative weight of each area on the exam. The higher the percentage, the more questions you are likely to see in that area. All right, so let's understand the learning path for this Microsoft 365 fundamentals. So in the first module, you're going to learn about the cloud concept. Within the cloud concepts, you will understand and learn about the principles of cloud computing. What is a public cloud, a private cloud, and hybrid cloud? Then you will touch base on what is different cloud models, what is infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. And then we will move on to Microsoft cloud services like what is Azure, what is Microsoft 365 on a high level. And the third lesson on that module is migrating to cloud services. Then we will move on to the second module, which is core Microsoft 365 services and concepts. In that module, we will dive deep into Microsoft 365 core services. We will understand how to deploy Windows 10 and Office 365 Pro Plus. And finally, we will learn about what is unified endpoint management with the Microsoft 365. And we move into the third module. That's where we are going to learn about Microsoft 365 security, compliance, privacy, and trust. That's the module. We're going to learn about the organizational security fundamentals. What are the security features available within the Microsoft 365 world? Then you will learn about identity and access management. And finally, we will touch base on the device and information protection. And the final module is Microsoft 365 pricing and support. In that module, we will learn about Microsoft 365 subscription. What are the different licenses involved? How can you update your Microsoft 365 licenses? Where can you find the billing, etc.? And the last lesson for that is the support in Microsoft 365. In case you find something not working, how can you reach out to Microsoft? If some of the service is not available, how can you find out what's the SLA for that service all about? You can find more about this exam at aka.ms slash Microsoft 365 exams. You can learn more about this exam at aka.ms slash Microsoft 365 exams. So let's look at exam basics. When you sit for the exam, you are most likely to get questions between 40 to 60. Some questions worth more than one point. So there is no penalty for guessing. So if you don't know an answer, please make sure to select an appropriate one which you think which is right. You can mark some questions for review. So that gives you an ability to go back and read about it more before finalizing your exam. The total time allocated is 180 minutes. So just plan for 150 minutes for question answer and 30 minutes for some sort of a reviewing, commenting, reporting, etc. When you sit for a Microsoft exam, there are different types of questions you need to expect. Sometimes you'll be welcomed with a hot area. Sometimes you will have an active screen where you will have to drag and drop. And finally, there are some case studies as well. I don't think there is going to be a case study for MS 900 
and AZ900. But if you are planning to sit for other Microsoft exam, definitely watch out for case studies. All right, in the next module, we're gonna talk about how can you schedule a Microsoft 365 fundamentals exam. If you are a beginner and you have never sat for a Microsoft exam, this is the best course where you can identify how you can go through the entire process of scheduling and sitting for an exam. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.